Hi friends, welcome back. Today we discuss about turmeric fight against chronic diseases. So are you looking for a healthy lifestyle and side effect free solution? Contact us. So what? So today we talk about 30 cancer fighting superfoods and herbs. The food you eat can be either the safest and the most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison, says and big more. I believe deep within my spirit that God created us for incredible health and vitality and desires for us to look to nature to provide the resources for health and well-being. Our society has been trained to look first to man-made intervention and treatment. However, I believe we honor and glorify him by looking to a his creation. For the answers to our health goals, the more I study nature, nutrition, human physiology, and biochemistry, etc., the more His Majesty comes alive in my body and soul. Nutrition to reduce inflammation. Cellular inflammation has been shown to be the underlying marker in nearly every major health problem. Every single day, our body is attacked by free radicals. Cells are damaged and inflammatory mediators are produced and triggered throughout our body. Fortunately, God gave us an incredible ability to heal and regulate abnormal cells through our brain, spinal cord, nerve and immune systems. He also provides us with a way of life to minimize the negative effect of lifestyle stress. From a natural perspective, one of the simplest things to do is add some of our creators most nutritious foods into our diet. Foods that have an incredible array of health benefits that go well beyond just their nutrient value are considered superfoods. The world's most powerful cancer-fighting substances are found right under our nose in the form of natural plants, herbs, and spaces. So, in this video, I am talking about the turmeric, fight against chronic disease, and health benefits. Turmeric fight against chronic disease, the organ, the, or, the orange Asian herb, turmeric has been traditionally used to centuries by Ayurveda and Chinese medicine. Curcumin is the most powerful active anti-inflammatory compound within turmeric. Curcumin has been showed to be a powerful suppressor of chronic inflammatory mediated disease processes. Many cultures <coughs> use turmeric in nearly every meal. They save of its anti-aging and medicinal benefits. 
Western medicine has just begun to research it, its components, components are very deep level to better understand turmeric's remarkable health properties. Over 570 studies have appeared in the mainstream literature demonstrating curcumin's cancer protective effects. Curcumin reduces inflammation. Curcumin has been shown to reduce inflammatory mediating prostaglandins, cytokines, and other molecules such as interleukin-6, nuclear factor kappa-beta, and tumor necrosis factor alpha with a high enough dosage this 94 has b this 94 has the ability to pull the body out of strong inflammatory cascade and arrest anti-inflammatory anti behavior at the cellular level Curcumin regulates tumor suppressor pathways and triggers mitochondrial mediated death in the cancer's tissue. Curcumin is anti angiogenic, which means that it shuts down the ability of cancer cell to develop. Extra blood supply that these cells used to fuel on. This effect made cancer cells more vulnerable to pharmacological treatments such as chemotherapy and other cancer control drugs. Then, curcumin and cancer. Research done at the Life Extension Foundation found that curcuminoids target 10 factors involved in cancer development. This includes cancer inflammation, DNA damage, and disruption of cell signaling pathways. Curcumin supplementation was shown to target destruction of cancer cell mitochondria, disrupt the cancer cell cycle and arrest stem cell development. That facilitates further cancer cell formation. There are hundreds of other studies that have shown that curcumin turns on natural apoptotic or cell suicide, switches in cancer cells. They also reduce inflammatory prostaglandins that promote cancer cell growth. And a study out of China showed that curcumin was able to induce apoptosis within triple negative breast cancer cells. That uh, NBC. TNBC is a type of cancer that defies conventional chemotherapy and radiation. Then, what is the dosage? Best dosage of curcumin. For optimal curcumin absorption, it is necessary to combine the turmeric with the good fats such as coconut oil or milk or olive oil. You will also want to add a dash of black pepper for the pepperin molecule that enhances curcumin uptake. For individuals with chronic inflammatory diseases such as cancer, it is recommended to supplement with a high dose curcumin. Find one that is made with pep pepperin in an 
enteric coating that protects the nutrient from stomach acid from optimal absorption. There has not been an official dosage that has been established by the scientific literature. However, studies involving human patients with cancer found that curcumin dose as doses of 3.6 grams or more daily had the best effect. What is the summarize the curcumin benefits? Improve brain health, improves digestion, supports healthy inflammation levels, supports liver health, improves insulin sensitivity, reduce oxidative stress, immune booster, improves metabolism, supports healing processes, support healthy cholesterol levels. Turmeric or curcumin target 10 factors in cancer development. What are these? Improves inflammatory response, protect against DNA damage, disrupt cancer cell signaling pathway, Disruption of cancer cell mitochondria, disruption of cancer cell cycle, arrest stem cell development, tones of cancer cell apoptosis, reduce inflammatory prostaglandins, anti angiogenesis effect on cancer cells, slow metastatic activity. So, this is all about the turmeric or curcumin benefits. So, if you want to learn more or stay healthy lifestyle, healthy lifestyle or a disease-free life, contact us. See you the next informative video. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.